he's a friend, <laughs> someone who is actually learning with us, learning with, with life in this beautiful reincarnation. And he is also a cardiologist, physicist, and a professor at the Brazilian National Institute of Cardiology in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, founder and president of the Sociedade Espírita Reencontro and Grupo Espírita Francisco de Assis. Dr. Tizen has traveled more than 25 countries giving spiritist talks. Daniel and I could not remember exactly the year that he came here uh, for the first time. Uh, it was either 12 or 13, one of the two years. So this is the second time. So he's one of us now. <laughs> and it will be obviously uh, an open door uh, to come many, many, many other times. So tonight, Dr. Tizen will be talking about bridging spirituality and medicine. Dr. Tizen, please. Thank you. <clears throat> well, hi everybody. Good afternoon. Um, I am very happy to come back here in Baltimore and in this spirit society uh, to find you, to share with you uh, one nice aspect of our spiritist doctrine. Uh, do you know that um, because of the origin of the spiritism, spiritism share and do many frontiers between all the important uh, aspects of knowledge in humanity. Uh, we can see, for example, spiritism and uh, law. We can see spiritism and education. We can see spiritism and astronomy, physics, physics, and we can do the same in a very beautiful frontier between uh, medicine. Um, I think that I will try to present to you some simple considerations about that. And I try to um, present to you some illustrative cases uh, because this is our experience during many and many years and I would like to share with you and uh, I think I will talk to you um, for one hour more or less and then we will have many and many minutes to share uh, uh, in terms of uh, answers and questions, okay? Till midnight we complete all. <laughs> ok? Um, Eduardo, uh, Daniel, podíamos... I will try to do it in English. Um, so, in this first slide we have our main issue, uh, bridging spirituality and medicine. Uh, here we have many different uh, first slide of uh, same kind of presentation around the world in many different languages because this is one uh, important aspect to understand medicine in another point of view, in another approach, including spirituality and especially spiritism. Okay? So, let's go. Uh, I would like to remember with you the idea that we live here on earth and we have one humanity we compose one humanity as a community of 20 billions of souls or spirits with moral deficiencies 
gathered together for re-education and regeneration according to the moral and ethical codes of the universe. So, <clears throat> we need to remember first that as this level of word, of tests and atonements and expiations, we have many and many illnesses. We have billions of people suffering during the evolutionary process to obtain uh, some kind of freedom, some kind of liberation, some kind of moral achievement to become uh, happy in terms of eternal life. So, uh, we need to remember too that we have many and many, billions and billions of words and in many of them we do not have people with those diseases. This is one uh, earth characteristic because of our kind of humanity. Do you remember the Spirit's book? We have primitive word, tests and atonements or expiation, uh, regeneration word or regenerative word. We have happy words and we have pure words. This one, this is our kind of word because this is a hospital. All of us that live here, that are, are uh, doing uh, many and many reincarnations here, we are doing this because this kind of necessity, because we are sick souls or spirits. We can understand, but I am fine. I done many ex uh, exams in the lab, including functional resonance and tomography, and all the results are normal, but we are sick. And in spiritual terms, we can become sick, including cancer, cardiovascular disease, uh, Alzheimer. We have many and many thousands of diseases here because we can stay well, but in the future, in this life, we will become probably sick because the disease are in our souls, including our peri-spirits. And we do not have, on these days, one exam to detect the peri-spiritual troubles that in the future will be present in the physical body. We will be the, this one. We will have this one. Now we have mediums that can do that, but in the spirit society and not in the hospitals on earth. Okay? Um, we need to remember to maybe that uh, when we are in the spiritist society, we receive the passes. Sure. Frequently, the good spirits, they can change our peri-spirit in terms of cleaning it and doing some kind of preventive medicine. And nobody can un understand, yes, but can see this, only the spiritual view of that good spirits. Uh, preventing some kind of illnesses and suffering because of that. So let's go. Uh, we know that today we have 7.5 
five billion of incarnated people. So, because this number, we have the idea that we have some kind of the double in the spiritual realm. This is one kind uh, or nice information from Emmanuel. In one book by the mediumship of Francisco Cândido Xavier, named Roteiro. In, uh, in the beginning of one chapter, named the big school, the school of the earth. So, uh, we need to, to think about the idea that we can be sick in this side of life, but in the other side, we have billions of people with the same different diseases. Because of that, we have many and many hospitals and clinics in each one of the astral cities around the world with one idea in the erraticity when we live after the last uh, reincarnation and before the next one, we are frequently being treated because of our disabilities, because of our disharmony in our spiritual condition. Uh, it's interesting to remember that when we die, we will transfer the suffering to that period of life, the erraticity, depending, dependently of our possibility to recover during this reincarnation or uh, in a few, uh, in, a, in, a, in a short period when we arrive again in the spiritual reality. Let's go. Um, when we care, the patients with many and many different diseases, in this side, by one different medicine, uh, focusing the physical body, but the perispirit and the soul also, we will have the possibility to short the suffering after life, after this life, because the life will be in a, in a continuously uh, condition after life, after discarnation. Okay? Uh, inner enlightenment and substitution of vices by virtues. Because this is a hospital. All of us, we have many and big spiritual and moral problems that will be uh, creating our different manifestations of disease in general terms. So we are here but we are in a curing and recovery process during our moral and spiritual evolution. I understand, and you too, that when we complete after maybe a half million of years on earth or in every one uh, word uh, like the earth in this uh, uh, possibility of life, we will have the idea that the diseases will be put out of this planet because we will be recovered in the future without the condition or the chance or the necessity to be sick in terms of uh, put in the physical body the troubles, 
that come from the soul, our spirit, and our perispirit. Okay. In terms of medicine, we have five thousands of years of history. The history of the humanity, the same. And when we examined the story of the humanity, in writing terms, we have doctors, we have healers, and we have sick people, including uh, in the unscient uh, communities and civilizations. As, for example, the civilization of the father of medicine, the, the Egyptians, Imhotep, the father of medicine, before Hippocrates. But we will consider many things till midnight. Okay? So, so we need to, to go on. Um, physical and mental diseases. Yeah? Old and new illnesses, medicine of the body, even in the mental diseases. For example, when my colleagues diagnose one case of depression, for example, severe depression with the risk of suicide, my colleagues prescribe antidepressive medications. This is what the psychiatry can do now because they only consider the idea that we have less neurotransmitters in the neurons in the brain. They don't know nothing about the soul, the spirits. They don't know anything in terms of uh, obsession spiritual, bad spiritual influence from the uh, spiritual reality in terms of that spirit and the patient with depression. When we care the patient with depression with one um, mediumistic team in the meeting in the spirit center, we always find spirits linked to the case. And when we talk with them, when we rescue them from the bad and inferior spiritual situation and bring them with us by the mediums in psychophony, we, after this, we guide them to a different and a nice sphere of life. The patient will have always one different outcome, one different evolution in clinical, medical, psychiatry point of view. I will share with you some in interesting experience in these uh, terms, okay? Why we, we can obtain a very beautiful and uh, important difference from only the use of antidepressive? Because when we use medication only, we are doing something uh, as treating the peripheral aspect of the disease. But when we find the spirits and we find them always, we care of them. We detach them from the case and we guide them. And so um, this, the, the, the patient with depression, depression they become uh, with less symptoms and signs of disease. And frequently we can obtain the cure because we are dealing with the core of the problem the spiritual uh, reality of the patient and the spiritual world 
linked to that patient. It's easy to understand? I think so. Midnight and many minutes more, okay? Let's go. We have allopathic medicine, homeopathic, and many alternative ones. Chinese, Ayurvedic medicine. We have beautiful, uh, trying uh, people, colleagues uh, from different cultures, trying to help the patients from that culture. And we need to see that uh, no one approaching different medicine uh, tentatives to help the patients, they do not um, um, share with the spirits in the other life. But when we do that, the outcome is very different. This is my different patients, for example. We have patients uh, that we take from the street without, um, without meal, without uh, home, uh, without any human aspect of life. We have one uh, spirit society specialized to take those patients from the street and to help them with a nurse and medical approach to benefit them. We have Hanseniasis, we have a goiter in the thyroid, we have uh, the result of a big explosion, we have uh, uh, acute respiratory in, um, um, insufficiency uh, with risk of life. I think I will tell you about this case, Rodolfo. This is a post-operative situation uh, after a pancreatitis, a very important disease in the abdomen. Uh, here in American, American patient uh, in the Massachusetts uh, because of a gangrene. This is medicine. And we have many um, um, simple cases but we have moderate and severe cases of each one of the diseases that we have in this reality. For example, uh, including now the work to benefit the patients, to um, use the spiritist possibility to help them, we have in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and we have in many other uh, cities, states, provinces, and countries around the world. The last one um, that I uh, tell about this uh, issue, it was, for example, in Denmark, in Copenhagen, a few months ago. Because we are trying to, to share this experience. And we have many and many people um, in different countries, but especially in Brazil, trying to do different things to help, including um, the ideas that we have from the contents of the Spiritist doctrine, put in action to help. Here, this obsession or the treatment of the spirits related to the cases. Uh, when we are doing this, we have the name, the age, the address of the patient. And we receive in that group in Copacabana, Rio, we receive uh, cases from all over the world, by email, by WhatsApp, by cell phone, because we are uh, doing this and we are publishing uh, papers about this. And the people, all the people they have in family, important cases of autism, for example, schizophrenia, without hope 
in a better evolution to that cases. But now we have a spiritual approach to benefit more. We have fluid therapy that passes to the patients and astral surgery. We have many other things, but I think because I am looking the, the time, and I think that we would, would not uh, have the time to do uh, some more considerations. Let's show it to you, this. This one, a paper, a medicine, a medical paper. The effect of the spiritist passive energy therapy in reducing anxiety in volunteers, a randomized controlled trial. This is the, the, the idea of one medical paper published to the world, dealing with the passes that we have for many and many years uh, in the spiritist movement in the world. But now we can share the results to our colleagues in medicine and nursing. Because when we discuss this one, the people will know about this and will uh, study and will be interested to know and to share and to do something different. Um, Munich, Germany, European Congress of Psychiatry. It is me alone. And here, influence of discarnated people in mental diseases and the respective approach. Here, we are talking about spirit center to 3,000 colleagues in the area, the area of psychiatry. This is a, as a historical moment in terms of spiritism and in terms of medicine, because they are together now. Here, Madrid, the same year, September, September, we have, I was here, the um, influence of discarnated people in mental diseases and its respective approach. This is the to oral presentation in that room, in that topic, and uh, a few months after that one, March and September. Here, the same, but with uh, more cases from different uh, diagnoses in psychiatry. Nowadays, in the beautiful medical magazines, we have the efficacy of distant healing, a systematical review of randomized trials. Well, we have many things I would, uh, would like to remember now that with spiritism, we can uh, maintain all the beautiful approaches uh, from the classical medicine. But we can now, uh, the possibility to do many things to help the perispirit and the soul. Because the origin of the disease is here, here, in the soul. When we do something in the past lives uh, against the divine, the divine laws. And we've done many things in terms of many and many old reincarnations, uh, creating uh, some kind of suffering and hurting the people. In all and in many of the uh, humankind, all day relationships, for example, the worst, the war. Do you, it's interesting to remember, we have uh, 5,000 
years of history registration and we do not have 100 years of peace and the consequences we are collecting now in terms of mental and physical and clinical disturbances or diseases. This is the same. The, the medicine now are looking, for example, uh, in terms of depression, schizophrenia and autism, they are looking for the problem in the brain. But the problem is here and here. And we need to change the focus. We will continue to treat the physical body because we are here in this world. We need to do the surgery. We need to, do, to use medicines. But not only this. We need to change. So we have many and many good uh, approaches to the other one. I would like to remember with you, in our medical research, as in spiritism, we are spirits or souls. We are immortals and we live many lives. Reincarnation is a fact, past life therapy, as you know too. We can detect the old lives of our patients. When we open one case after an acute myocardial infarction, I am a cardiologist, and frequently the family of the patient, or including the patient, they ask to us, to our spirit group, to do something. So we have the name and the identification. We open with the good spirits and the mediums to do that. Uh, and we can easily uh, relate the problem on, in the heart and the bad actions in the past. And we care the victims, the spirits victimized in the old reincarnations and guide them to a good sphere to complete the recovery of that suffering. And then the, the evolution of the cardiovascular uh, disease case is completely different in terms of size and symptoms and prognosis. On Earth, we live in two different worlds of realities. The material, this one, and the spiritual realm when we are in the after death. So, uh, it's, it's nice to understand the idea of continuing from this world to that one. But we remember that we are coming from that in every case of reincarnation. So we can see the life in a progression and link it, the problems that we have now, in, the last, on the, in terms of the last and the uh, our past lives and the spiritual reality that we have when we are healthy and we have when we are at hospital it, it, it is uh, in the spiritual reality and we can go there with the mediums to help and, and, and so our approach now it's not only f to the, this patient we are doing one different medicine and we can help the people that are suffering many beautiful and important problems and we care of them. Do we remember that they are the double that we have here and we can expand, expand, this is a, a, a word in English, we can expand, extend the medicine that we um, can do now, including the spirits and, benef and, and creating benefit to them. We live so in two dimensions or planes or distant words 
that complement and interpenetrate. We need to remember when we are sleeping, we are in the spiritual reality. We don't need to, to uh, wait for the disincarnation to stay there. Our home. We have bodies, but we are spirits. And we are spirits during the reincarnation. And we can share with our family, with other many and many other spirits, during the night, we have the third of our lives in medium, in the spiritual reality, our home. We are here, but we are there too. Uh, we change it position for millennia until we free ourselves of the incarnation's chain and evolve only into a spiritual realm. The intervals of varying uh, length in the spiritual realm, the erraticity may be short, may be long, uh, depending of the program, depending of many aspects and variables to the choosing the best um, to the uh, fast our evolutionary process. Uh, I will not talk about this today. Scientific evidence of extracerebral consciousness, immortality and reincarnations, as we can study near their experience, communication with comatose patients, past life therapy, spiritual healing and medicine. We have beautiful things to study. But midnight? I don't know. Um, we have beautiful papers, including mediunity or mediumship, neuroimaging during the trance state. The trance state. This is one paper related to psychography, comparing people experienced and not experienced in terms of uh, psychography. What do we have? Which kind of light and color in the brain will be evident in the process of automatic writing? So we can see the spiritist experiences, the spiritist postulators being shared and included in the science especially the medical science. Uh, this is the result. Uh, in another opportunity, we will examine this one. Spiritism, you know, I know, uh, is a science that deals with nature, origin, and destiny of the spirits, as well as their relationship with the material corporeal world. And we have the five uh, books from the work, the big work of Allan Kardec and the spirits. Uh, frequently, we share with the spirits. This is a good spirit because of the light, because of the translucence, and because of the vibration that we can feel in the spiritism and the spirits group and the mediumship meeting. But we can see this one because we have or we do not have the inferior umbrow. Do you remember Astro City? Do you remember that the people can discarnate at the hospital and they stay in the bed of the hospital during one decade? This is medium umbrow. When we have spirits in our homes, we have spirits in the medium umbrow. But do you remember André Luis when he discarnated and becomes for some seven years, more or less, 
in the inferior umbral is a very different situation. And if you know, do you remember when, we were, when you were reading the book and when we could uh, see the marvelous aspect of the colony and the astral city? Do you remember that you are asking Veneranda to, to, to um, separate a little space for you to live after that in that astral city? Do you remember? As uh, uh, no solar or astral city is umbral too, but higher umbral. So when we use the term umbral, we need to use one adjective in English. Because they, uh, these are very different things. But we remember that this is not um, uh, inferior umbral. This is darkness. And here, inferior umbral. And here, too. And many and many people in the hospitals, in the clinics, when we open cases, we can see those kind of suffering. And we need to care them and to bring them with us by the mediumship of the team and then rescue them and guide them. We have beautiful th situations too and we refer those spirits to live in higher uh, and bad and best and better condition. Uh, this is one specific paper. We will not study this one today, tonight. Uh, it's a very beautiful study, but uh, maybe in the next year if we come back, okay? Uh, this is the paper, the best magazine in medicine on earth, the New England Journal of Medicine in Massachusetts. And here, how we can share with comatose patients without the possibility to, to, to uh, respond our inquisitions, our um, um, trying to, to share with them the reality. So we have nice results. This is the slides from the paper from the New England Journal of Medicine, but we can study this in the future. The same, do you remember God at the bedside? The religion and medicine putting together should physicians prescribe religious activities, the editorial of the magazine? In England, The Lancet, the best in Europe, religion, spirituality, and medicine. So um, I think that we have some minutes. And um, I would try to, to present to you some examples. We have hundreds because this is one 30 year experience of that group. Uh, I uh, choose some cases to share with you. Um, this is the first, a baby in Sydney, Australia. I visit Australia many times, seven times. Uh, one day I was in Rio and I received one call from uh, um, what's up? I don't remember. Uh, a mother, a Brazilian woman, uh, she had one baby, Mateo, and she was uh, pregnant uh, in the second time. And she was coming from the hospital, from the clinic, after one ultrasound examination. 
and she was very disturbed because the exam revealed one ventricular dilatation on the brain of the baby. And she remembered one uh, medical spirit symposium in Sydney when I talk about the same to that group, the Seed of Light Spirit Society. And then, remember two years ago, she tried to talk to me about that problem. And I asked her to uh, show to me the result of the image of the exam. But I promise her that uh, in the next meeting, we will open the case of the baby without name. Uh, we have the address and the name of the mother. So it's, it is what we need. We open the case and all the mediums could see one war devastation in Vietnam. This spirit, uh, he was one U.S. Air Force, the pilot, yeah? Uh, the pilot of one of that many and many uh, airplanes in the war, they are uh, doing what the commander asked them to do. But he, uh, doing that work, they do that with some kind of bad feeling in terms of the Vietnamese, Vietnamese people. Hundreds and hundreds of spirits in the same situation from that occasion. So we have how to care of many spirits in one time because we know something in terms of magnetic field. This is my specialization in physics. And we use some spiritist uh, understanding about ideoplasty, about transfer, because when we have a vital fluid, an ectoplasm, we have a treasure to do many things in care in the spiritual reality. And so, in uh, 45 minutes, we rescue all that the good spirits show to us, inviting us to care of all of them. And we um, project uh, nice fluids, as in the passes, uh, directly to the recovery of that spirits in terms of perispirit condition and moral comfort. Do you understand? The, as we have a gravitational uh, field, nuclear field, electromagnetic field, we have law and light field that we can create, that we can maintain, that we can um, uh, include in that field many and many different spirits. And we can do some kind of observation of the results by the same mediums with clairvoyance. And we only finish it, the, the approach when all of them are referred to our hospital. We have some hospitals that uh, help us uh, receiving the patients to the uh, to the uh, uh, to complete the recovery in higher spheres of life. 
So we close that approach. Uh, three months after, I received another call. Um, the baby was born completely normal, but after the 10th day, um, they, uh, he begins to present some neurological manifestation. Do you remember the dilatation of the ventriculars in the brain? We have many structures, the basal ganglia, around the lateral ventriculars. And I suppose because of this hymage, that some kind of hurt of that circuit from the basal ganglia. I will show you, I will try to do it. <laughs> and I ask to the mother, the father to record. Maybe you are mothers and grandmothers. Did you see something like this? Some kind of oscillation in the head and arms? This is completely abnormal. My colleagues in Sydney, they don't know what is that. And they done many and many different tests, including genetic tests, to understand this is one kind of extra pyramidal disease. We have Parkinson, we have atetosis, we have chorea, we have many things, but they are very rare in medicine. Only Parkinson is common. But this one, in the baby, in a newborn, they do not have any experience in this. Me, too. Uh, because of the description of the mother, I ask him, record that and send to me by email. This is the first one. This is the second. Well. Well, this is one record with the same presentation. Well, this is the third one. Well, when I look that video, I think with me, I need to open again. Because when one of uh, one people in a, a near reincarnation do that with that feeling, what that he done in past and more past lives, and we do not, we, we cannot in one meeting care all the reincarnations problems. So I understand by experience that we need to open again and to see, like, do you know what the onion? Do you know the, do you know the spheres, the, the layers of the onion? We are the onions. So I understand I need to go to another layer. When you open again the case, we find another word, another war. with a very important um, uh, result of the, the, the um, destruction. Two different armies fighting between them with blood. And the people uh, trying to become uh, impaired.
get up. To get up. But the people in the in the ground. in the in the ground. in the ground, but uh, in a very bad condition. All of that spirits uh, from that different war. Two hundred years passed in Europe. So uh, we we did the same. We care of all of them that the good spirits show to us, indicating the who uh, that we need to care and to um, guide to the the good layers in the spirituality, from the onion to the spirituality. So um, we did the same. But I remember one technique that we used many and many other opportunities during that uh, three decades. Uh, I invite the spirit of the baby to stay with us as one discarnated one, but he is this one. And we care and we dialogue with him by the medium here in my side. Do you understand? And when we do this, we can have the spirit, the soul, with me in the group in the present life, in the present situation, or in other situation in the past, dependently of the, 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 what we need to, to do in terms of dialogue and uh, care. He, uh, uh, in dialogue with me, he is an adult. And he was very uh, arrependimento. Uh, repent, full of regret. Yeah, regret because of the bad things that uh, he done in the past. And we, we dialogue, we, we talk to him uh, and um, um, care of him with comfort, with love and the perspective of the good recovery in this life in many aspects, especially talking about the parents, my friends, spirits in Sydney. So we, we could anticipate to him uh, the future with some kind of recovery. But I did another and a nice thing. Do you know idioplasty? I know something about neuroanatomy and physiology. And I can do by idioplasty a new brain, a completely normal brain. So I did this and put in the perispirit of the baby with me in a manifestation with the medium by the medium. Do you understand? I create a normal in terms of anatomy and physiology, a beautiful one, because I know anatomy and physiology. Everyone can do it. So I, during the prayer and during the magnetization, this is uh, attached to the diseased Diseases to the, 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 the brain with that problem. And then with the acquiescence, uh, uh, the concordance of the angel that care this case, he is incarnated, uh, that angel uh, goes to the Sydney body and done or did uh, what they need to complete all the layers of the perispirit with a new one brain. 
in this reality, the reality of the thoughts. Do you remember uh, formas pensamento? Do you remember this in English? Do you understand? We did one brain and we give a new brain in terms of uh, spiritual form. To this one, create a normal or regular form in the biological brain. F from the perispirit to the material brain. And I ask the mother, Viviani, um, do uh, new records in different days. I don't know what problem here, but um, okay, my prayer, it was fine. Luca. This is a spa. The hands of the mother, Viviani, and the father, Thales, doing the recording. No more physical body oscillations after three or four days of the last one approach. After the bath, He's tired. All my colleagues, uh, they are surprised. They don't know the, the diagnosis and they understand, they do not understand this evolution. And we have a very important and nice medicine in Australia and New Zealand. Look this. Um, the first one, uh, March. This one, May, three years ago. The lateral ventricles are now of normal caliber. The visualized cerebrum and posterior fossa is normal. The midline structures and caudothalamic grooves are normal. The superior sagittal is patent. This is a normal examination. Different and be compared from March to May. To May. And this different result coincide, coincide? coincide with the clinical normalization of the neurological sign of uh, extrapyramidal manifestation. Uh, from this year, I visit Australia uh, two times. An Australian surfing and uh, last um, November. I care him as my son and the, the parents. Uh, to Brazil, if I want, I take the baby <laughs> to Brazil to stay with me. Um, 
I don't know the time. Be My 50. Um, I will show you another case and then we, we stop and we can share your uh, questions um, in terms of this presentation and this uh, uh, frontier between medicine and spirituality. This is Lucas. When we uh, look to Lucas, maybe a normal boy. When I finish a little lecture in a spirit society or center in Rio de Janeiro, Joana de Angeles, Barra da Tijuca, one man uh, come he, uh, near me and talk to me, I think I have one case for your group. And I ask to him to talk to the mother to send me an email with the identification and the characteristic of the problem. So, Rio de Janeiro, four year, ago, four year old, mentally challenged, acute episodes of psychomotor agitation, aggressivity, abnormal upper limbs movement, parents with great difficulty to mind him, separation, suicidal, for the first time I could uh, see that, suicidal tendencies, uh, mother and father, both thinking about to commit suicide. Um, rage, disruptions, lack of sleep. This case, many colleagues think in terms of autism, but um, uh, our diagnosis was some kind different. This is one syndrome, one genetical syndrome, genetic syndrome. Not with heritage, but with a mutation in chromosomes. Uh, let me see if I have the video. I have. Okay. Um. Tem que ficar calmo. This is not a crisis. This is doing all the day and frequently. <laughs> Understand the suicidal ideas from mother and father? Can you imagine to live uh, as a testimony and uh, trying to care the common medicine? They do not naturally. They do not understand how to help. Only doing uh, sedatives and medications to sleep, to calm. Do you understand the gravity, no. gravity, the severity of the suffering of the child? Luca. Luca. <coughs> Lucas, calma. <coughs> ei, ei, para. It's okay. I received the first email. Lucas, attitudes are frightening us due to his almost daily, daily disruptions of excessive rage 
in which he harms himself and people close by. He also tries to break the whole house down. We can still contain him because he is only four now, but I fear for our future. Can you imagine in adolescence? This is one different syndrome, a very <clears throat> rare one case in 25,000 children. smith Magene syndrome is related to the chromosome uh, 17. Alterations of central and peripheral nervous system, <clears throat> mental retardation, behavioral disorders and alterations of the circadian cycle because Lucas, they, uh, he do not sleep during night and have crisis, the same. So the, the problem to the family, to the parents, uh, was very hard to deal. Obsession in the spiritist mediumistic meeting, former boss of the Sicilian Mafia, <clears throat> in the last one, reincarnation. Hundreds of victims torture, some of them in pitiful conditions in the other side of life. Some others with anger and desire for vengeance. Magnetic wards filled with love and light. Do you remember? Rescue of all of them. Improvement of the physical and psychic conditions referred to the hospital and fluid shutdown of the patient. The same procedure to help them where they are. We can bring many of them with the mediums by psychophony to talk with them, to dialogue, to offer love, perspective of happiness and cure of the physical, perispiritual condition, and then guide them to the good uh, spirituality and spiritual conditions to uh, complete the recovery process. So, immediate benefit and progressive improvement of some symptoms. One beautiful spirit tell to me, he will become very fine, but in the program, he needs to be um, uh, treated by medicine, mother and father, related to the past lives of that child, and he will not be cured, but he will be in a condition to live uh, something like a uh, normal life. Now, some years after, Lucas has bipolar mental disease, but controlled by medication and by fluid therapy in our spirit society. Uh, this is another uh, nice evolution to share with you. Do you remember, spiritism is a doctrine of hope. And this hope, consolations, hope and consolations, uh, this is one kind of offering that one to the people. Do you understand that before we enter in those cases, the kind of suffering and the changing and the better evolution and what we can do in the spirit society to help the people. Do you remember, here it's a place of study, but it's a place of help the people. Do you remember Jesus? Do you remember the house of Peter? What they done, what they did there, 
the instruction by Stephen and the help in the social and medical problems of that suffering people. Well, many other kids, do you remember Rodolfo? Yeah. To the next year. Uh, the first photograph, a close one, one week after the, the meeting. And he is at home with a normal, completely normal condition. It's a, a, a risk of life case. Me in China nine years ago, trying to share with my colleagues in the World Congress of Psychotherapy the same experience with thousands of colleagues from all the countries. Beijing National Institute of Health, spiritual approach of mental diseases, spiritism. I present Allan Kardec to my colleagues. Cause and effect, law. And here, the study of 36 cases, depression, panic, schizophrenia, autism, bipolar, bipolar disease. Techniques to the colleagues, mediumistic techniques. And trying to explain in that time that they give me to do the presentation. The benefit. Can you see the table? Depression, panic, schizophrenia, autism, the number of cases. No clear benefit, clear benefit and cure. Uh, you know that, uh, but frequently I like to talk something about, but it's not your case. Spiritus, clinics and hospitals in Brazil. I stay here for one decade. This is psychiatry hospital Spiritist Hospital in Porto Alegre, Rio Grande do Sul, to discuss what we need to understand about this frontier. God bless you. I am very happy to share with you those uh, issues. And I think we have some minutes to uh, see your um, ideas about this one, your doubts, and then. Thank you, Dr. C. <coughs> Any question? Thank you, Dr. Tizen, first of all, for everything. Okay, for this thank beautiful, you. Um, Thank you. Um, we have three hours and a half until midnight, so we can ask all the questions that we want. <laughs> you can drink some water if you want to. But um, we will open up and we'll try to go, like we said, I mean, um, 15 minutes, no more than that, so we can uh, present our questions, please. Alba. Thank you, Dr. Tilson, for this beautiful presentation as a happy life we read at the beginning, we are open to new concepts. Uh, I am curious about the specifics of the mediumistic meeting. When you say we open the case, what do you mean by open the case? You mentioned mediums, how many mediums are in the room, and um, how is the one day in the life of a mediumistic meeting in your center, if you can describe that a little bit more, please. Yeah. Um, 
We only can do that with the mediums. To uh, share the spiritual reality first. I can work and help people with one medium, but a medium experienced in this kind of approach. My wife, for example, a doctor, a medical doctor too. But I can uh, stay with in the meeting with three, five, nine mediums. Mediums in terms of clairvoyance, that we need to see the reality, and mediums uh, with psychophony or incorporation, something like this. But from one to nine, for example, uh, frequently I visit countries and groups outside Brazil and in Brazil too, and I go to share with them alone or bringing with me one medium to stay with the group of mediums of, or, of that spirit society and to care the patience of that country, city or group. Uh, frequently we have one Allan Kardec spirit group in one country uh, my friends, they select the worst cases uh, that they try to help first. And because of no so good results, we go there and we share and we open the case selected by them. What is uh, open the case? I need to do an approach as a doctor. Uh, let us compare. If I have mediums in the table, around the table, and we begin um, the um, spiritist meeting, the mediumistic meeting, the mediums will receive many different spirits. Um, uh, including that that the good spirits and uh, the spirits that are in, in the control of the, the, the situations, but I do not have how to link with the cases that we need to, to care. Do you understand? The good spirits, they know the relationship between each one spirit with each one case. But I know, I do not, but I need as a doctor. I need to, to do my, my schedule uh, with name, address, when a little uh, uh, summary of the case, some kind of medical evaluation, and then what kind of spirits, what kind of war, what kind of ep epidemics related to this suffering? Because I need the, the contest to do the comparing, the, the, the observation of the results from the meeting. So I use the expression, open the case. Uh, this um, is like, uh, after I open the case of Mary or John, all that manifestations by clairvoyance and psychophony are coming from the spiritual reality related to that case. This is as a key to have security in terms of what I am doing to that patient and do the relationship in terms of physiopathology, etiopathogenicity, to understand the suffering. For example, I can uh, try to help uh, one cancer patients 
But if I compare a hundred different cases of cancer, I will detect, I, the group can see a uh, hundred different spiritual situations. So I need to individualize the cases and the spiritual problems. Frequently, a storm related to the suffering and to that diagnosis. This is some kind of upgrading the spiritual, the mediumistic meeting in the frontier between medicine and spirituality. Frequently, we don't need to do that, but th to care this kind of patient, we need to use the, the aspect that we understand that they are important to a better approach and uh, uh, in expecting the good results. Do you know? Dr. Teasen, um, just a follow-up question on that. Um, we got this question, and I'll open up again for us here, <laughs> um, from the web. Um, and I will say the, the question in Portuguese, since it was asked in Portuguese, and I will translate uh, to you guys, at least I will try to translate, from Enio Oliva. Dr. Sérgio, em todos esses casos, quantas sessões de atendimento você realiza? Depende de cada caso para o perispírito apresentar uma melhora ou cura? Quando você puder, gostaria de mais informações. Estou amando ouvir esses relatos de como fez os atendimentos através de uteoplastia. Dr. Teasen, in all of these cases, how many sessions uh, of, uh, of helping sessions uh, do you um, um, perform? Uh, does it depend on um, the spirit um, to receive, uh, to show some kind of um, um, benefit or cure? Um, and then she just go on in some remarks about getting some more information about the dioplastic um, help. So if you can... Um, yeah. Uh, frequently, we need one meeting, one opening the case. And we use uh, many minutes to care the spiritual trouble linked to that case. We can use half hour, we can use 40 minutes, we can use, for example, uh, one hour and 10 minutes. And frequently, I prefer to, to use the time to finish the case, to go um, in the direction uh, of the problem, to care of all things that the good spirits show to us to care. But, for example, in the case of Luca from Sydney, we need two different times, two different uh, approaches. Before uh, he was born and some days after, as I show it to you. The, the next case, the case of Deborah, this, uh, this is the case of one depressive woman that commit um, provoked abortion three times. She uh, was living with the three spirits linked to her with uh, uh, dark fluid cord and one of them conscious trying to vengeance and trying to induce suicide of the mother that kill him in the abortion in that case we need one meeting 20 minutes because I talk with the, the only one that was awakened. The other two was unconscious as a fetus. And we invite them and we send or guide them to another 
uh, trying to be born in the future in another family. Love to them, to that that could uh, dialogue with me. So uh, it's, um, for example, we have frequently patients with autism. It's a very hard disease. And I have cases that I need three or four meetings and I do not, we do not achieve the cure. It's difficult because the spiritual problems that they have uh, justify, including this approach, many difficulties to uh, obtain the cure. But frequently we are opening to help a little more. Be remember, remem remember with me, when we open, we care spirits, including when we care in them we cannot see the benefit in the patient. But we cannot see, but we are doing our job. And in, in this job, we are caring our brothers and sisters related to each case in a big situation of suffering. I would like to to tell you that this is spiritist helping without any form of payment. Do you understand? This is charity. And because of this, we have beautiful spirits carrying us to carrying the others. Do you understand? Because they love to help the patients, and we love to, because our happiness is the happiness of the patient and family and society. In the future on earth, you will see uh, the passes, the fluid therapy, the water mag magnetization, and the disobsession at each hospital. Because in the future, all the doctors will recognize what we and many others are doing in this frontier. This will be common sense in medicine in the future. Thank you, doctor. Anyone else? Paula? Thank you. That was excellent and enriching. And I believe the first time I've heard how a miracle occurs with the Luca story. Yeah. To me, it's a miracle. Yeah. It, uh, it's not a miracle because now we can know about the laws uh, that are in, uh, being important uh, in the case and how to care. It's not a miracle. It's some kind of miracle. I understand. Yeah. But uh, we, as a spirit, as we know that the miracle uh, they not exist. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm thinking Christ performed miracles, and now yeah. I have somewhat of an explanation how one occurred, especially with your creation of that new brain that was able to be transposed through the perispirit. Thank you. We understand that there is an obsessor present with serious mental illness, severe, and with these major illnesses. What do we think about the moderate level of depression? What about? I'm curious if the obsessor is treated and worked with for severe depression, yeah. How about the person who is moderately okay. depressed? Uh, uh, light and moderate, we have spirits too. That's what I'm thinking. Do you understand? But we have different uh, spiritual linkage and situations. 
Uh, but we need to to rec to do, to um, remember that the light case of depression today is the moderate the moderate case tomorrow, and the moderate will be the suicide trying in a severe case in the future. So when we have one depressive patient, we offer the psychiatry approach frequently with antidepressive medications. But including the, the light cases, we offer the gospel, uh, the study of the spiritual, spiritist doctrine, we offer the, the, the water, uh, we offer um, the talk about the problem and if we feel that we need to go to the mediumistic meeting, we open the case. But every time, independently of mental, but frequently in physical and clinical important disease, we have spirits. Okay? That was really excellent. Uh, in Thank part you. because, uh, of course, it can be my background. We always tend to think, well, if I commit a fault in my past lives, I certainly will have a disease this lifetime and I have to go through it. But you show that out of a kindness of other human beings in the form of parents, caring parents, and people that know enough spiritism to help, we, that close relationship is not a fate. It sure. can be diminished. So that was a relief. Okay. If we have Kenny, but my my question if question if you could give a case of a drug addiction, because there's many layers of uh, uh, the patient being willing to be subjected to be free of drug, all the yeah. social. How could be the approach, your approach, your group approach in this? severe case. case like it's going on all over the world about opioid every, uh, addiction or other heavy uh, drug okay. addiction. Well, um, when we have a patient with alcoholism or drug, illicit drug addiction, we have hundreds of spirits related to the case, at home, at office, at street. They are together because when the people drink, all the spirits related, they drink uh, with the patient. The, the um, the molecules, the fluids from alcohol or from cocaine or heroin, they are absorbed by the spirits in that situation. Old addictions from the past, they uh, find and they um, invite in a mental approach, that case to drink or to use different uh, chemical drugs or, or substances. So if we want to help this kind of uh, diseased people, we need to do many things, but we need to do one thing, to open the case to help and to disconnect those spirits, helping them, trying to help in them. Because um, if we do not work 
to free the incarnated one with this problem, we do not find um, uh, facilities to help directly the patient and the family. The obsession is the rule of those cases. So we need to help the spirits in the same fashion, but including many other approaches, the water, coming, if possible, to the spiritist meeting to know about gospel, to know about uh, di divine laws, to reinforce the necessity of change their mind and trying to be freed of the alcohol abuse or any drugs abuse. But this is a hard journey to each one. We do not do miracles. We are dealing with the spiritual and human situation. We do not forget the condition on earth in, uh, on earth in terms of, of suffering. Which kind of spirits we are. And we are repeating old experiences without one expressive evolution, liberation, recovery. So we need to talk about spiritism to the society. This is light to the world, to understand the mechanism of suffering and recovery of that suffering. As Emmanuel uh, talked to us, the better thing to do is the diffusi diffus diffu diffusion, yeah? dissemination. dissemination of the, the, the spiritism to all the people. One day, millions and millions around the world, they can study themselves. They can look to the inner situation and personal and to invited to be invited to the good spirits to the inner transformation and being uh, distant of those and the same illusions of the world uh, we will spend many and many centuries millenniums to do that but we need to do now what we can to do. Walking in this frontier and um, talking about spiritism. Okay? Thank you so much, Dr. Thiessen, once more. And we leave the door open for more visits in the, in the future. So. Okay. Um, so you can actually go over those cases <laughs> with yeah. us that we now we want to know more, right? So thank you again. Okay, and, thank you. Um, God bless you on your journey on the other spiritual center that you have to go to. Um, he'll be here for a couple more minutes, um, so you can have, thank have you. a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and uh, before we, we pass the word to Kirsten to finish, to close the evening, we have three copies of this beautiful book over here, Universo and Vida, um, for the... Yeah, American friends. <laughs> Perhaps we can read and we can try to translate <laughs> chapter by chapter for you. But we have three copies. Um, is by um, Hernani uh, Santana, uh, pelo Espírito Áureo, and we have three copies that we would like to sell. It's thirty dollars per copy. Uh, he brought so we can um, um, have it here at the Spirit Side of Baltimore. Um, again, three copies. So we'd like to, if you would like to give it as a as a gift, we have back there. Um, and we would like to invite everyone, um, you know, with, as, as Joanna de Angeli mentioned to us, um, let us be open. And this is all we ask when we come here, when we have our treatment on Mondays, for those who have um, participated in the treatment, um, we always ask the same thing over and over, even for ourselves. Um, because for those who are working, we usually say that we joke amongst ourselves that we are the ones who need more, the most. So... 
Uh, let us help. Let us believe. Let us really put ourselves into this so that we can work within ourselves. If we can do the works that he's doing, um, because this is his job, at least we can do a little bit between ourselves here. And I think that really grants us the opportunity tonight to pray together. We'll ask Kirsten to lead uh, the final prayer, and then we'll receive the water, and, doc and Dr. Teasy will be a little bit more here with us. Thank you.